do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Today is probably the craziest video I've ever seen in my entire life. This video, this daughter, well this girl, girlfriend, finds out that her boyfriend has been cheating on her their entire relationship. Guess with who? If you can guess with who, I'll give you a dollar. He's been cheating on his girlfriend with his mom. His mom, not her mom, which is still kind of weird. His mom. He's been cheating on... On his own girlfriend, their entire freaking relationship. This wasn't just like one slip up, one mishap, and it was super, super drunk and nothing, nobody knows what happened type of thing. Their entire relationship, he was cheating on his girlfriend with his own mother. I don't know what the heck this video is for the title. I'm curious to see what heck this story, where the heck this story goes. Let's let's see. This is about to be crazy. Smash the like button because you know it's going to be crazy. Let, let, let's go. Today I found out my 19M. Boyfriend has been cheating on me, 18F, with his mother for our entire relationship. My boyfriend and I have been together for almost a year now. We a met year of cheating. We court job and immediately hit it off. After a month of knowing each other, he asked me to be his GF. Of course, I said yes. Our relationship has been pretty great up to this point. He takes me on dates, compliments me, and just makes me feel super special. The only weird thing is he would never let me meet his mom. His parents are divorced and have been for almost his entire life. Red flag. He won't let you meet his mom. Because he was clapping her. Play the freaking video. I'm, I'm not going to do this with you, TikTok. The divorce was messy and his father ended up getting full custody. They had the typical every other weekend and six weeks out of the summer set up. I have met his dad and his paternal family, but he would be weird when I brought his mom up. He would tell me things like we have a complicated relationship, or I'll tell you about it later on. I'm sure it about is very complicated. Months. You in it. <laughs> into the relationship, I began to realize he would never answer his mother's calls or texts around me. He would hastily clear it out or step into another room to talk to her, even if it was just texting. I tried to not let it bother me because I wanted to respect his boundaries. Last week, he spent the night with me for the first time. I woke up around 3 a.m., because of a bad dream. It was the dream that your boyfriend was cheating on you with his own mother? <laughs> and I couldn't go back to sleep. I rolled over to grab my phone in the dark, but accidentally picked his up instead. I looked at the messages from his mother. I opened his phone and began to read through them and noticed they were mostly very sexual. There would be nudes exchanged, hardcore sexting, and messages for them to meet up for checks. What the f- Okay, so this is something, 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 something. I'm not feeling this. This is weird. I read the conversations in disbelief. I tried to pretend like it wasn't real, and I dreamed it. A few days later, I confronted him about it. It didn't take long before he broke down and told me everything. He had been having checks with his mother since he was 13 years old. They usually have checks once a week, sometimes more. They've been doing this throughout our entire relationship. He never told her that he had a girlfriend, because he wanted them to still have their weekly sessions. At this point, I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do? <laughs> I can tell you what to do. <laughs> I got a lot of options for you to, what you should do first of all the first one is calling dyphus or cps whatever it is 13 years old this the mama is the problem the mama is the problem the mama grooming him this is this is real bad i love him with all of my heart but no I'm you don't so disgusted with him and his mother i haven't talked to him since he told me everything after he told me i ran out and drove to a town two hours away i blocked him on every social media and his phone number i changed the locks to my house I have also called the week into work so he can't find me. What should I do? Make it work out or break up with him? Make it work out? He sleeps with his mom. How are you going to make that work out? What? Update. I have decided that I am going to talk to his dad and him both. I'll talk to his father first, then him. That way his father can help me figure out what course Does the father know? he may need to take. I messaged both of them an hour ago. His father agreed to meet this afternoon. I unblocked BF and I'm still waiting on a reply from him. I will update later after I talk to them both and decide what we should do. I got it's three parts to this series. Guess what? I'm smart. I got all three parts lined up for this video. Literally, literally. Play it, play it. Today I found out my 19M boyfriend has been cheating on me. So glad I got these parts. I'd have been pissed off if I ain't know that there was other parts. F with his mother for our entire relationship. Update number two. So my now ex-BF came to my apartment and started banging on the door, 
begging to be let in so we could talk. At this point, I have turned all the lights off. I am being quiet, so... Wait, is this the right part? Did I skip a part? Hold on, is this the right one? I think, yeah, I think this, I think this is the right one. I'm tweaking. Today I found out my 19M. My I think we skipped the part. I, that says update number two. Our entire relationship. Update. I have no idea where to start with the events that have occurred within the past 11 hours since I last posted. I am still shaken up, and this is hard to process. My BF finally messaged me back a few hours after I asked him to meet up with me. He agreed to meet me at his apartment. I made sure that I was going to talk to his dad before him, so he could help me find the correct course of action for my BF. Well, I met with but the does partner, the dad know? I call him X. I was so scared before talking to X that I was shaking. My voice was unsteady, and I had tears in my eyes when I walked in. I had no idea where to begin. X looked concerned, so he sat us down across from each other. I told X that I believe his son has been sexually abused for six years now. Of course, X was taken aback. I started to tell him about what my BF told me. That's when X started to be more and more puzzled. He stopped me while telling the story I knew about my BF and his mother. X told me that there's no way this is completely true. When he says this, I start getting confused as well. X the dad in on it. Wait, X tells me that the boyfriend mother passed away? Wait a minute. Tells me that my BF's mother passed away in a car accident when he was eight. X never remarried or had a GF. At this point, I am dumbfounded and I have no idea what to say. X tells me that he didn't think my BF's mother was sexually abusive while she was alive or why my BF would even tell me this. X also tells me that he have no idea who mom might be on his phone. Oh, he's oh he playing a game. That's not really his mom. That's somebody else. It's just a regular shorty. Hold on. I take a few minutes to calm down and think before I head over to my BF's apartment. The drive was only 10-ish minutes from X's house to my BF's. I took this time to process what X told me and what I would say to my BF. When I got to the apartment, I promptly went inside. I demanded answers immediately. I asked the truth about his mother, the messages I saw, and if they've really been having checks since he was 13. Of course, he apologized again and gave me the same story, but it made me angry. This is where I lost my cool. I yelled and told him that X told me that his biological mother had passed away 11 years ago. I told him I knew there was no way the story he told me was true because his mother passed when he was eight years old. My BF became silent and looked down. At this point, I was crying uncontrollably. I felt so bad for what- This is crazy, what's- I wanted to get him therapy. Get therapy, why? Him for keep no, but why is he crying? Why are you crying? He should be crying, he got caught. <laughs> what's going, what? This is, this is, this is great. In the secret from me. My BF was silent for a few minutes, then finally spoke to me. He told me he made the whole story up. The contact he had as mom was an ex-girlfriend he regularly hooked up with. She was 20 and a bartender in our city. He put her name as mom so I wouldn't get suspicious that he was talking to another woman so often. He didn't think I would find out so he fabricated the whole story up. This way, I wouldn't be mad at him. He told me he fit- Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait, pause real quick. So instead of you, instead of you lying and getting caught cheating, but just like a regular girl. You thought it would be better to lie and get caught cheating with your mom. That was your great idea. Instead of just getting caught cheating with a regular girl, you said, no, <laughs> it's my mom I'm cheating on you with. What? Come on, bro. He figured I would feel sorry for him and stay with him. I felt so betrayed when he confessed this. In the past few days, I went from having a healthy relationship to thinking my BF had been sexually abused by his mother then to find out it was all a lie just because he didn't want me to know he was sleeping with this ex. He tried to justify it further, telling me it was meaningless and he only loved me. What? I told my BF that I want nothing to do with him and left. He tried to follow and plead with me, but I ignored him. I drove home, threw out all everything he gave me, and blocked him, once again. I cannot believe he lied about something so major just to protect himself. I haven't stopped crying since I left his apartment. I'm so hurt and now I don't know what to do. I no longer want him in my life. I'm considering moving town so he can't find me. He has gotten online and used a fake number to try and get a hold of me to apologize. I need to clear my head and try to take everything in. I will turn. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I was watching the Minecraft thing and I'm mad he fell just now. That's, that's, that's what I had to say. Off my phone and computer for a while so he can't try to contact me again. Let me, okay, let me go back to that other part because I don't know why I had that added, added the loops. Let, let's see. So, 19M, boyfriend has been cheating on me, 18F, with his mother for our entire relationship. 
Update number two. So my now ex-BF came to my apartment and started banging on the door, begging to be let in so we could talk. Talk about what? I turned all the lights off. I am being quiet so he will hopefully leave. I know he can see my car out front so it's obvious that I am here still. I want to call the cops, but I am not sure there's much they can do. I'm thinking about going back to live with my parents until this blows over with him. I am also considering talking to his ex that he was hooking up with. Why? I got her full name and where she works. I will keep updates as I learn more about my ex BF. Update number three. I am having a lot of people send me messages so thank you for the kind words. I can't reply to everyone's messages so at the bottom of the comments I added some additional commentary on everyone's suspicions. Please read it to answer any questions if you're still unsure. Please note that there are some personal details I left out in order to keep privacy. Example. How his mother passed. There's a reason he didn't talk about it. So I have been noticing a lot of similar comments. So many that I can't reply individually to each one of them. I'll just clarify some common questions. Clarify it. This account was made to get this off my chest and be a throwaway. So here this goes. One. The nudes. Yes. It seems out there that I couldn't tell. Here is why it was difficult. Because they were all close ups of the genitals. Looking back, if I would have paid more attention, yes, I could have known, but I wasn't thinking about that at the time. That is true. Yeah, that, that is Two. true. The phone. It was dark, and I picked one off the nightstand and opened it. No, he didn't have a passcode. Yes, I did realize it was his, but kept reading. I was just alarmed from the few messages I read on his lock screen, so I decided to keep reading. 3. Deceased mother. I asked about his mother many times, but no one ever gave me a fraught answer. They were always vague. Like they didn't want to talk about her. We had only been dating for a few months, and I don't feel like I should press about something someone doesn't want to discuss. Why do you want to ask about the mama still? Like, what, what does the mama have to do with you? Four. The ex. I cannot post much at this point on here because I decided to take legal action. I got into contact with his ex, and I can say this isn't the first time he has done something sociopathic like this. He has made some illegal moves and her, and I decided to take this a step further. Five. My job. No, I not longer work at the food court. I have a better paying job at the moment. I do have an apartment that my parents helped pay for, and they gave me a car to drive until I can support myself. Your my parents, parents is cool. are super supportive and caring. I they see always that. have been. They're the only reason I am able to have what I have. Edit. I ended up talking to his ex. We had a long conversation, and I learned some other information. She told me she had no idea what I was talking about when I said what he told me. She claims she hasn't talked to him in months. What? So what the f- Hey bro, what's going on? What's going on right now? What's happening right now? And why is there a fly in my freaking room? Finna... Because of a restraining order she has against him. He harassed her when she broke up with him back in 2017. She also almost had a child with him, but decided to abort it when they broke up. I cannot disclose why they broke it off. I am considering a restraining order as well. Since the ex says she's not who he was cheating on me with, I have no idea who it is. I could care less at this point. I can't tell much else since I want legal action. I have told what I can to the best of my ability. That was a big old change of events. I, and so can we figure out who he's cheating on her with now? Everybody drop your suspicions in the comments down below. This is a weirdo. Because why would you think getting caught cheating is just what a regular girl is better than getting caught cheating with your mom? Like... Somebody make it make sense, because right now it's not making any type of sense to me at all. I would much rather, not that I would ever cheat, but it would much rather be like, oh, I got caught cheating with a regular person, than to spin it off and be like, oh, I got cheating with my mom. Me and my mom always do it, once a week, <laughs> all the freaking time, since I was 13. <laughs> what? Man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That's freaking crazy. If y'all enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you thought this video was crazy, smash the like button. That's a better reason to smash the freaking like button. But if you enjoyed this video, watch this video right here. It's just as crazy. Probably not as crazy as this, but this was still freaking crazy and super entertaining with a huge plot twist. Watch it right there. But that's about it, man. I'm going to see y'all out.